What's up guys? So we got a hungry tea here, molted about three weeks ago, has had one kind of medium feed since then and she's been out and about kind of hunting today. It's a, a female Brachypelma erratum, so a Mexican New World terrestrial species. Yeah, we're gonna try to feed her like a nice big fat hornworm. Let's see how it goes. So next up we got our Afana Pelma Hensi. This is a really cool tea. It's actually apparently the most boring tarantula in the collection. I, I love her. She's got so much personality, but let's uh let's see if she's gonna eat one of these hornworms. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's a juicy one from Hit it just out of anger. She's playing with it now. <laughs> it's funny how the worm is literally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so kind of hoping that our sun tiger wants something. It's, it's funny. We yeah, we put all this work into the enclosure with a bunch of twisty sticks and you know we buried a nice cork bark hollow through the center and, and made it bioactive, put some plant in there and I was kind of anticipating that the sun tiger would naturally make its home inside the cork bark. Well, no, it didn't. It went behind this, which I had just put in there as backing, and it's made its hide back there. So I've, I've just said, okay, fine, your choice. It's kind of cool. Eventually, it'll probably come out, and it will web that up. As it gets a little bigger, it'll probably grow out of this hide. But uh, for now, it's stuck back there. And we're gonna try to see if it'll take this smaller horned worm. Well, let's just give it a second to get situated here. Oh no, it's gonna make it down. Well, it doesn't look like it's super aggressive in a feed response. Got a mature male Pacillotheria regalis in here that amazingly enough really actually does nothing. But 
likes itself is a bit of a connoisseur of the hornworm. So let's see if he'll take it. And of course, zero reaction right off the draw. Just let it sit there for a minute. for a sec it was looking around all right so we got our uh, harpactera paltrypes if i said that right harpactera paltrypes this is a really cool looking tea um i'm not a huge fan of this enclosure just because it doesn't really fit in with any of mine so we're gonna do a quick rehouse into a little enclosure that we have uh, where i think i'll get a much better opportunity for viewing and of course the end goal is to get it into one of our uh, primal fear tarantula enclosures um, to be a full display uh, setup but uh, we're gonna rehouse this it is a baboon tarantula so to the bathtub we go all right so I, I've just got a, a simple setup here lots of substrate i kind of dug down this bit of cork bark here and, and did a starter burrow so we should have uh, this should be an ideal spot kept it nice and dry this species is from africa and likes it dry is a terrestrial some say kind of somewhat fossorial species uh, so let's see what we can do here there's a couple methods you can use to get a spider like this out. These guys, uh, the golden blue leg baboon, if you will, um, are known to be a little bit more chill of the baboon species, but it's still a baboon. So <laughs> you have to take extreme caution with these guys. Some people try the flood method, which is to flood a little bit of water in there and have them come out. I've seen a couple good videos where uh, uh, it doesn't really work out and it's not the best way to try. So I'm going to try a different method. We're just going to try to kind of fish it out with a stick. So <laughs> this ought to be interesting. All right. So I can actually see her. It's right there. So I'm going to start peeling this back. As you can see there, quite quite heavy webbers. So let's see. She's probably going to start giving me some threat holes. Pieces of mold. Okay, there is a piece of cork bark down in there. Hmm. Well, she's going to come flying out of here angry, I think. But once I get most of this web out of here, she's still in there. This might be a little easier to deal with in a second. I'm going to try with my tweezers and my brush here. I'm going to try to see to just pull a little bit of this back. Oh yeah, there. See him? See her? There we go. Perfect. Thank you for that. As you can see, this is why. Here, hold on. I'll do it. Um, this is why the bathtub. So as you can see, even in the bathtub, that got quite sketchy. That's half the fun with these guys. So always, if you're do dealing with an old world, expect that it might literally run laps around you. So 
they are faster than us. Anyways, time to just plop her down here. This is actually pretty funny. <laughs> we'll literally like leave it like this for a minute. Oh, there Boom. she goes. Back flip down. thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that footage we'll, we'll show you more as we go we got plenty more teas in the collection to showcase shout out to primal fear tarantula enclosures the gardening queen yeah thanks everybody for liking and subscribing